Have you ever looked at a picture of Earth from space and thought, wait, that looks round, but the ground under my feet feels totally flat? Some people think that that's because the Earth actually is flat, and all those space pictures are fake. Other people think that's silly though, because science has tons of proof that Earth is a big round ball floating in space. Today, we're going to explore both sides of this argument like you're 5 years old, so that you can finally understand why some people believe the Earth is flat, and why most scientists say that it's definitely round. Let's start with what flat Earth believers think. Imagine you're standing in your backyard. When you look around, does the ground look curved like a ball? No, it looks pretty flat, right? I mean, you can see far into the distance and everything looks level. So if you're standing on a giant ball, flat earthers say you should be able to see the curve. But when you look out at the horizon, that line where the sky meets the ground, it looks perfectly straight. That's one of the main things that makes flat earth believers think that the world is flat. They also point out that when you pour water on the ground, it spreads out flat. It doesn't stick to a ball shape. They say if Earth was a spinning ball flying through space, all the water in the oceans would fly off into space, just like how water flies off spinning basketballs. But the oceans stay put, so they think the Earth must be flat and not spinning. Flat Earth believers also wonder about airplanes. If Earth is a spinning ball, they ask, why don't airplanes have to constantly adjust their flight path to account for the curve? When a pilot flies from one city to another, they fly in what looks like a straight line on a flat map that makes sense, but if Earth is round, shouldn't they have to fly in a curved path? They think the fact that planes seem to fly straight proves that Earth is flat. Another thing flat Earth believers talk about is how we never feel like we're moving. If Earth is spinning really, really fast and flying through space, why don't we feel dizzy? Why don't we feel wind from all that movement? When you're in a car going fast, you can feel it, right? So they think that if Earth was really moving that fast, we should feel it too. They also question space travel. They say nobody has ever really been to space, and all the pictures of round Earth are fake, made with computers or special effects. They think NASA, the space agency, is lying to everyone about space and the shape of Earth. They believe the government wants people to think Earth is round for some secret reason. Some flat Earth believers think Earth is like a big flat disk with the North Pole in the center and Antarctica as a giant ice wall around the edge that keeps all the water from falling off. They think the sun and moon are small lights that circle around above this flat disk, kind of like lamps hanging from the ceiling that move in circles to create day and night. Now, let's talk about what scientists and most people believe about why the Earth is round. First, they have lots and lots of pictures of Earth taken from space that show it's definitely ball-shaped. Astronauts from many different countries have all taken similar pictures, and they all show the same round Earth. Scientists say it would be impossible for all these different countries to work together to fake all these pictures and keep it secret. Scientists also point out that we can see the curve of Earth in certain situations. When ships sail away from shore, they don't just get smaller and smaller until they disappear like a dot. Instead, the bottom of the ship disappears first, then the middle, then the top, as if the ship is going over a hill. And that's exactly what you would expect to see if Earth was curved like a ball. They also explain why we don't feel Earth spinning. I mean, imagine you're in a car driving smoothly down a straight highway. If you close your eyes and the ride is really smooth, you might not even know that you're moving, right? Earth spins very smoothly and at a constant speed, so we don't feel it, just like you don't always feel a smooth car ride. Plus, everything around us, including the air, is spinning with us, so there's no wind from the spinning. Scientists have also measured Earth's shadow on the moon during lunar eclipses. When Earth gets between the sun and the moon, Earth's shadow falls on the moon, and that shadow is always round. The only shape that always makes a round shadow, no matter which way you turn it, is a ball. If Earth was flat like a disk, sometimes its shadow would look like a line. Now let's talk about gravity. Scientists explain that gravity is like an invisible force that pulls everything toward the center of the Earth. It's what keeps you from floating away when you jump, and it's what keeps all the water in the oceans from flying off into space. Gravity works the same way on a round Earth as it does in your house. It pulls everything down toward the center. Scientists also point out that we can see other planets through telescopes, and they're all round. The moon is round, the sun is round, and every other planet we see is round. It would be very strange if Earth was the only flat thing in a universe full of round things. They explain that airplane flights actually do follow curved paths when you look at them on a globe, but they look straight on flat maps because, well, flat maps have to stretch and squash the round Earth to make it fit on a flat piece of paper. It's like trying to peel an orange and then laying the peel flat. You have to stretch and tear it to make it flat, and that changes how things look. Scientists also have something called satellites that orbit around Earth. These are like robots flying in space that can take pictures and help with things like GPS on your phone and weather forecasts on TV. 
thousands of these satellites are flying around Earth right now, and they all work based on the idea that Earth is round. If Earth was flat, satellites wouldn't work the way they do. There's also something called the Coriolis effect. Because Earth is spinning, things that move long distances like big storms start to spin in circles. In the northern half of the Earth, storms spin one way, and in the southern half, they spin the other way. This happens because Earth is a spinning ball. If Earth was flat, storms wouldn't spin differently in different places. Scientists have also done experiments where they measure the angle of the sun's shadow at the same time in different places. If Earth was flat, the shadows would be the same angle everywhere. But they're not. The shadows are different angles in different places, which proves that Earth is curved. Another piece of evidence is that different places on Earth see different stars in the sky. If Earth were flat, everyone should see the same stars. But people in Australia see different stars than people in Canada, because they're looking out into space from different angles on around Earth. Scientists also point out that we have something called time zones. When it's daytime where you live, it's nighttime on the other side of the Earth. And this happens because Earth is round and spinning, so different parts face the sun at different times. If Earth was flat with the sun moving in a circle above it, the whole flat Earth would have daytime and nighttime at the same time. The reason some people don't trust scientists and NASA is because they think there might be secret reasons for lying about Earth's shape. But scientists from all over the world, including countries that don't like each other very much, all agree that Earth is round. It would be almost impossible for everyone to keep the same secret, especially when some of these countries are enemies. Scientists have also pointed out that believing Earth is round doesn't benefit anyone in a sneaky way. There's really no reason to lie about it. But understanding that Earth is round helps us do useful things like predict weather, navigate ships and airplanes, send rockets to space, and make GPS work on your phone. The scientific method is about testing ideas to see if they're true. Scientists have done thousands and thousands of tests over hundreds of years. They're all pointing to the same conclusion. Earth is a big round ball. When scientists find evidence that doesn't match what they thought before, they change their minds. And that is how science works. But all the evidence keeps on pointing to Earth being round. Some people might wonder why this matters. Does it really change your daily life if Earth is flat or round? Well, in some ways, no. I mean, you still eat breakfast, you still go to school, and you're still playing with your friend either way. But understanding the real shape of Earth helps us understand how our world works, and that helps us make better decisions about things like travel, weather, and exploring space. It's also important to think carefully about information and ask good questions. Just because something seems obvious, like the ground looking flat, doesn't mean that's the whole story. Sometimes the truth is more complicated than what we see with our eyes. And that's why scientists use tools and experiments to learn about things that are hard to see or understand. So, let's recap this whole adventure in Earth shapes. Some people think Earth is flat because the ground looks flat, water acts flat, and they don't trust space pictures. But scientists have tons of evidence that Earth is round, including pictures from space, the way ships disappear over the horizon, round shadows during eclipses, how satellites work, different time zones, and thousands and thousands of experiments. The scientific evidence strongly supports that Earth is a big round ball spinning in space, even though it feels flat when you're standing on it. Now go forth and appreciate that you're living on a giant spinning space ball, and try not to get dizzy thinking about it.